turbulent winds outside EU headquarters in Brussels reflect current relations between the 28-nation bloc and its biggest trading partner, the United States. From Friday, new EU tariffs worth 2.8 billion euro will apply on some US imports. Motorbikes and jeans are among the products affected. It's in response to Donald Trump's recent introduction of US trade tariffs on EU steel and aluminium. Those involved in the steel industry have been meeting in Brussels. They say consumers end up paying more when trade wars break out. In products uh, that are produced in, the, in every member state, if the raw material is more expensive regarding tariffs, uh, the final product will also be uh, more expensive uh, for, the, for the common citizen. The EU's steel industry is warning that unless the European Commission and the bloc's governments take measures to end unfair competition and take action to counter Trump's protectionist policies, thousands of jobs will be lost. We lose the bigger scale projects that will be all awarded to China and we struggle to get, let's say, the, necessit or the, the necessary number of work that we normally had. It's not just the EU. Trump is at loggerheads with countries around the world over trade, including China. Some believe his funders and advisors are behind the policy. Trump, as a US uh, president, can have uh, uh, a strong word on, on this, but mainly the politics uh, uh, and the policies behind uh, a government. The European Commission says it is ready to impose more tariffs on US imports worth a further 3.6 billion euro if Washington refuses to back down. The European Union says it will of course remove its new tariffs if Trump reverses his. Analysts say the chances of that happening anytime soon, zero. So they say an escalation in hostilities now seems inevitable. Jerome Hughes, Press TV, Brussels.